guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in with me if you are new my name is Chrissy we talk hair makeup skin whatever mostly hair though so we are going to get into my favorite hair care products and tools for the year of 2020 it's crazy to say that because we're literally in 2023 and I know everybody's like oh it's so crazy that we're in 2023 like a year just isn't 12 months every single year but it's like 24 hours somebody cut it down to 16 and i don't know who did it but they need to give us them a couple of hours back because the days are literally like minutes these days anyway i'm not gonna talk your head off let's go ahead and get right into this don't video. mind my crickety chair if you hear it it drives me crazy but i need a new chair so starting off of course we have to start at the very beginning shampoo conditioner my absolute favorite shampoo conditioner has been this right here by my baby hair this is their hydrating shampoo and conditioner oh my god when i tell you this stuff is so amazing on the hair the shampoo it cleanses the hair you can feel that everything is being removed off of the hair but it still allows the hair to keep that softness and i feel like it really does a good job at prepping the hair for everything that's going to come after the conditioner this is the type of conditioner I be talking about when I say you need to be using a quality conditioner because this conditioner will pack such a punch of hydration and moisture back into your hair that you can literally use any clarifying shampoo. You can use any shampoo that's like super cleansing, deep cleansing. This is going to pack that moisture and hydration right back into your a hair. A couple of treatments that I have really just been super impressed by and I think you would really like it if you tried it out. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and say my baby hair's gelato silk hair mask. This guy, the way it revives dead dry hair is unmatched in anything that I have in my kit right now. And I'm pretty good with reviving dry hair, but this guy took all the work out of it for me. Hands down, amazing. If y'all don't buy anything else for my baby hair, try this hair mask. So the next treatment that I wanted to mention is actually the Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate. I found out about this product from Brad Mundo. I think he was doing he was doing a campaign with them. And I was like, I gotta try this out. When it comes to treatments, protein treatments and bonding treatments, I'm really big on because I do have color treated. You can't tell because I dyed it all back black. This works by building up the hydrogen bonds in your hair. You have weak bonds and strong bonds. I did a video on this already, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but it builds the bonds back in your hair and strengthens the hydrogen bonds in your hair to strengthen your hair. This works. We're gonna go ahead and get into our maintenance product. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is Miss Pattern Beauty, Miss Tracy Ellis Ross Leave-In Conditioner. Y'all. This thing changed my life. <laughs> this changed my life. It's rare for me to even come across a product from Pattern Beauty that I don't like. Her stuff is legit just that good. It kind of emulsifies, if that's the right word I'm thinking of. It emulsifies and just leaves the hair feel so silky and smooth and buttery. And it works a little bit differently because I feel like it works more so to trap moisture in the hair instead of actually giving the moisture. It, they say it's supposed to give moisture. I don't find that it gives a whole lot of moisture. I feel like it traps and enhances the water to moisturize the hair. If that makes sense. I don't know if that made sense. And just so you know how serious I am about this product. It's not a game here. Next product I want to talk about is actually controversial. 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 I'm not sure but it's controversial i love scalp grease okay and this is nature's blessing scalp grease i know this is an oldie but goodie this scalp grease is not like your typical scalp greases because it's not 100 percent petroleum derived i know there's some petroleum in there right yeah there's some petrol there's pure mineral jelly so there's some petroleum in there but it's like the very last ingredient you can really tell based off the texture of this product that it's not like your typical scalp grease it feels different in consistency it has that slight petroleum feel to it but it also feels like 
I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how to describe it. It just feels very different from your typical scalp grease. I really like this because it's very nourishing to the hair. I think this is a great product. I don't care who says what about scalp greases. Scalp greases will never be out. Tried and true. Tresemme heat tamer, heat protectant. I love this. I love this because this is one of those things that transitions from hair maintenance into hair styling. I love products like that because I feel like you almost get the best of both worlds with stuff like this. So this is a hairstyling product because it's a heat protectant, but this is also a leave-in conditioner. So it does a great job with hydrating the hair. I wanna say, maybe not a conditioner, but maybe more of a hydrating, it's a leave-in hydrating. It's a leave-in hydrator. Leave-in hydrator. It feels so good on the hair. It hydrates the hair so well. When you blow out your hair with a blow dryer or if you go into flat iron, your hair is so well protected from the heat. Um, and also like you can still feel the hydration still working on the hair. Your hair feels very silky, very soft, very plushes. I love that word. I love saying that word. Very plushes and just full of life, full of body, full of bounce after using this. So I absolutely love using this. I've been using this for years. It's not going anywhere. Following that, okay, following that rave review, we have to top it off with the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. I don't know where Paul Mitchell gets off making something as amazing as this serum, but hats off to you, Paul Mitchell. You've been in the game longer than I've been alive, I believe. So you know what you're doing. You absolutely know what you're doing. This serum has been absolutely amazing, especially for blowouts. I have used this outside of blowouts and it's still amazing. Why have I used this outside of blowouts? Because it cuts down blow dryer time. There's another product that's for blow drying that do, does that exact thing. I haven't tried it yet. And let me know in the comments if you wanna see that video. But this, the Super Skinny Serum, oh my God. It like just, when it coats the hair, it just kind of creates this little layer of silkiness to the hair. It really kind of makes the hair, it gives the hair like a feeling of body to it, but when you're blow drying it out, it really kind of drinks up the extra moisture and like pushes it into the hair. As you're blow drying it out, that hair is getting dry so fast. It gets dry so fast, but the blowout, like it's, like I said, it's still beautiful. All those, um, layers of moisture and everything being pushed into the hair. The hair feels absolutely amazing. We're gonna talk about actual styling products now. I'm not gonna talk about any hair gels because the only hair gel that I've been using that I actually kind of like is this, the Eco Styler Gel. So that's the honorable mention. Everybody knows about Eco Styler Gel. I'm actually trying to find other gels to try because it has been something I've been curious about. And if there is a gel out there, that can actually hold natural hair and keep it super straight for those times where you just want that super straight, sleek style. So I'm on the hunt for something like that. I don't expect that to really exist simply because hair likes to revert. Natural hair likes to revert. It just wants to revert. So I don't really expect there to be such a product out there like that, but if it is, I wanna find it. Last styling product before we get into tools. Oh my God, MC7 Edge Control, you guys. <laughs> This is the only edge control that I've come across that holds down my hair. So you see how my hair is laid? Babe, I would not get this out of any other product. I've used the Design Essentials, the super firm hold, the strongest hold that they have. I've used the Ebon, I've used the Edge Boost, I've used, I've used a lot of edge control, okay? I keep, this is probably my third, my third, fourth bottle of this because this is the only one that holds my hair down. For I can't get a lot of hold out of it, but like it'll hold my hair down for like at least the whole day, basically. Um, best edge control I have used. Nothing has surpassed MC7. All right, me. we are finally on the last part of this video. We're gonna talk about tools. And I wanna talk about tools because tools are super duper important to achieving the style that you want, but it's also super important to maintaining the health of your hair. Not every tool out there is a safe or good tool to use. Not every tool out there is regulated, okay? Some, Some things do get too high. high. Literally, everything you've seen in this video, you have seen me use, okay? So first things first, we're gonna talk about our blow dryers. 
I love, this is my absolute number one favorite blow dryer. This is the Red by Kiss 1875 Ceramic Ionic Styler. You guys have asked me time and time and time and time and time again what this is. I will have this linked in the description as well with everything else. Everything will be linked in the description. Um, <laughs> this is my number one favorite blow dryer. I just hate that this is not very secure. This does come off while blow drying. So I hate that one thing about it, but I have not quite found a blow dryer that dries as efficiently, is ergonomically friendly, is I has ionic fusion in it, as well as um, has such a nice mild airflow, but still dries the hair down very quickly. I love this blow dryer and I think they're trying to discontinue this particular product. I'm not sure why. I think Conair has one similar, but I haven't tried it, so I don't know how well it works. But I love this blow dryer. The next blow dryer, and y'all already know how we come in because 2022, this blow dryer blew up. But it is the Revlon, um, what is it called? Oh my God. <laughs> this is the Revlon One Step Volumizer, I believe that's what it's called. Blow dryer is amazing. I know there is a learning curve when it comes to using this particular type of dryer, so I will be posting a video on how to use this blow dryer. I'm going to say I'm going to post that video between, I'm going to post that video in the next few weeks. Also, some of you guys have said that your hair is too thick and you can't get down to your roots. You absolutely can get down to your roots, it's just a particular way you have to do it so i'm going to show you that as well last product and we are going to wrap this video i know this is going to be i feel like this is kind of a long video but actually no i don't i don't think this has been a very long video actually i think this we kind of ran through this pretty quickly quickly than quicker than i was expecting so last thing i want to talk about also by pattern beauty is this comb when i got this comb originally i didn't think i was gonna like it i wanted to try it but i just i just knew when i got it i was like eh, i'm never gonna reach for this or i might use this on somebody else i'm never gonna use this i was so wrong i, I was pl i was pleased to be wrong i love when a product proves me wrong because i am very skeptical of things especially when i had my way of doing things for a while i'm set you know you're kind of set in that way I love when something proves me wrong and opens my mind. So this did that. I did not expect to get as great of a detangle out of this comb as I actually get. Because the comb that I typically use to get a good thorough detangle is this one right here. And this is just like a standard beauty supply store comb, but I love it because it has such long teeth. It really gets into the hair and pulls those tangles out. So I didn't think that this comb would be able to do what this one does, but this does it and it does it so effortlessly. I love that. It has the ability to still get in there and comb those tangles out. Difference between this one and this one is that because the teeth are so much wider, it's more gentle on your hair. So you're gonna get less snagging, less pulling, stuff like that, but it still goes in and detangles really well. So that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video with me as much as I enjoyed making it. These are truly products that have absolutely leveled up my hair care routines, cut time in half, and just allowed for longevity in my styles. I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely would suggest any of these products for whatever it is you're trying to achieve because absolutely 110 percent they do what they're supposed to do so anyway if you enjoyed this video feel free to give it a thumbs up but make sure you hit that subscribe button okay because we have so much more to cover we have so many topics to cover i have not even scratched the surface of what we're gonna cover and i mean i'm talking hair hair science product and product ingredients i'm talking about makeup i'm talking about skincare like we're getting into all of it we're gonna get real hot and real heavy make sure you're subscribing make sure you're leaving comments and asking questions about things you want to know so i can answer those questions for you anyway thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye <laughs>